Hi folks, the next job on the Track Day Civic is going to be replacing the shifter return springs. These springs, when you are actually actuating the, the shifter, these are the, the springs that will return it back in the centre to give you that sort of self-centering effect. Um, as you can see there, I'm running hybrid racing cables. They're a bit heavier duty, so I think they're a bit harder on the already upgraded shifter springs. So with the shifter cables you get a set of the upgraded shifter springs and the two pins for the cables there. Um, I haven't fitted these so I'm just about to fit them. Hopefully this helps. Um, I find at times the, the gear change isn't centering back into the gate at tra on track. So obviously plenty of excuses to be had there but basically I'm hoping these help and hopefully they're upgraded a step further than the ones I already have in and hopefully it helps um, and just as a quick overview the shifter assembly is here as you can see this is um, just beside your battery your OE air box would be going here obviously I have an aftermarket air box um, this is the shifter assembly here you can see your two gear change cables um, attach so you remove these two cables uh, through the pins to give you a bit more wiggle room and um, you lift up these clips using a set of channel locks or a screwdriver or something really to lever them up and to remove the actual mechanism there's four bolts at the top here in each sort of corner of the mechanism wiring connector there and there's another wee hex socket just down there I don't know if you can see where my finger is roughly just down there um, that's an allen head um, bolt, we lock bolt for it, take that out last and that should allow you to take up the mechanism it might need a bit of wiggling back and forth to take it out but it, it's, it's a fairly easy job so I'll aim to get that removed okay you'll see if a good bit of progress done I have the two shifter cables um, removed from the mechanism uh, the two clips that hold them in place there are pretty firmly on so what I did with the small uh, crowbar, just sat and le levered them off and you can see I put tape around the end of the cables to see if damaging them and eventually they come off, just a case of wiggling with them and working at them and they'll eventually come off. Um, what else have I done? Uh, the pins to remove the cables have been removed there, just the two cotter pins, so washer at each end, they've all been moved out of the way and unplugged the reverse cable, I believe that's what it is, or the lockout cable. Um, then it's a case of the five bolts holding the mechanism in and out it comes, easy as that. Okay, the lock bolt has been removed, I'll show you better when I have the mechanism out, but it's literally just down there, you might be able to see a wee bit of the Honda Bond around where it is, but it's just below that weight and it's an 8mm Allen socket to get it out. They don't, there's not meant to be major torque put in those bolts, so it shouldn't be that tight. But either way, um, you should be able to get that out without any big hassle that way. It's obviously much easier having your battery out to get access to it. But again, if you're, that's not really coming out on the camera, I will show you that a little better when the mechanism's all out. Okay folks, you can see that's the shifter assembly removed. And hopefully you can see down there the white marks where the, the lock bolt is, just there where the, the Honda Bond's been marking it. You can see the four bolts there um, holding the mechanism in place and I've quickly moved off any of the remaining gasket. I'm going to go back around it with a, a gasket remover tool, make sure the surface is nice and clean, ready for reinstallation. And what I'll also do is, once that's been cleaned up, cover over both holes, the main one there and there, just while I'm working on things, so making sure nothing falls in and causes any issues for me that way. So just a, it's a good uh, technique and good sort of practice to do that. Okay folks, you'll see the shifter assembly in front of you. This is pretty much how it comes out of the car. You can see I've taped up a few bits and pieces like the rubber bits and where the shifter cables go with blue tape. I'm going to give this a wee quick lick of paint once I have all this completed. But anyway, to get the springs in, you can see the springs are just located in there 
um, there is a 12 mil nut to remove and as you can see I already had this loosened so I will remove this bolt I should say and expose the springs naturally you want to try and do this in a very clean environment here I've got cardboard down and things like blue roll to try and keep it all as clean as possible okay that's the bolt out and obviously there's spring tension in this so let this all slide out slowly but surely you can see I'm slightly rotating this as it comes out and keep a note you can see there's a washer just under the bolt plus there is a spring on this lower part of this assembly here as well I'm holding it together with my fingers as I remove it and I will set that like so keeping that together it's going to put the washer under the bolt for safekeeping that can sit there okay then the springs so I'll remove this hat here one spring there and the second spring I can set them out to the side and get the other springs oh, sorry for knocking the camera install these like so and like so put the spring hat back on and try and line up this all up at the same time too to come through now okay there we go took a bit of footering we got there that spring was actually acting against me there so I'm trying to push the spring back in and allow that rod to come back down through now what the next step will be is to push this up enough expose the bolt hole and screw it in and I'm just holding the tension of this spring with my fingers allowing me to tighten it up it here for speed okay that's it tight um, the next bit of advice would be of course to torque that up to the manufacturer's torque settings and that is pretty much you good to go that's your shifter springs installed as I mentioned I'm going to give this a quick like a paint here muddy them in for perfection just to sort of clean it up a bit um, and what I'll do is I've cleaned up this face um, spray or spread a set or a, a line of Honda Bond around it to seal it bolt it back down do the four top four screws first then the wee lock bolt that goes into the side but I'll come back to you whenever I'm at that stage okay folks time to put the shifter assembly back in you'll see just round the uh, the surface or the sealing surface of the shifter assembly I've put a small light coat of Honda Bond on it and I've cleaned both surfaces on the gearbox plus the assembly it's only to help seal so it doesn't need loads of Honda Bond just a light coat is plenty and 
hopefully this goes in easy enough. Seen there's wee dials in this so that might provide a bit of resistance. Read it, install it. There we go. And as you can see, that's a shifter assembly pretty much in. Now I'll put the four bolts to put it on, remove any of the tape as you'll see just from me painting and tighten everything up and obviously remember to put in the front lock bolt as well which needs a smear of Honda Bond around it as well. Okay folks that is the wee lock bolt just about to go in there you'll see hopefully that's in focus put a smear of Honda Bond around it so using one hand I'm going to attempt to install this in. Okay that is catching on the thread hopefully you can see that going in there. And this is obviously the last bolt to put in once you have everything torqued up to spec. Okay, that's it roughly finger tight. I'll go and grab my tor torque wrench and get that nipped up. And that's pretty much the gist of you installing shifter springs there on most K-series cars. The later ones are slightly different, but that gives you the rough idea. Then um, bolt everything back in and that should be you good to go. Alright, cheers.